Hey, before we get started on today's episode, we have a quick disclaimer for you. Constable Bean is a little rowdy, and there might be a bit of cursing involved throughout our episodes. We are all about sharing authentic well-being journeys, even if they're not always pretty, because, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, So we want you to feel super comfortable and respected while you're tuning into our podcast. So if you're easily offended by colorful language, that was a great way of putting it. Great job, Jade. Um, This podcast might not be for you, and that is okay, but we wish you well always. Now, let's jump into today's episode. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Concept Will Being the Podcast, where the intention is well. My name is Jane. And I'm Aileen. And we're your hosts for today's episode. Um, so we're still, I'm, I mean, I'm still in my Bali bag. I'm in Bali right now, and we're recording. And we're just going to have a little chat on how things are going so far. And they're they're going, but I feel like they're not going the way that I thought they would. Like, I didn't have anything planned. Um, and so my only reference, so like, this is my second solo trip. So my only reference was my previous solo trip. And I was like, I think in my head, I thought it was going to be exactly the same. And this one's very much different. Like it's, I can't wait the vibe is to hear all about it. <laughs> it is so different. Like, I feel like my last solo trip, like I was so stressed out. Like I was so anxious. Like I was like, oh my God. Um, I like had a panic attack in the airport right before I left for that first trip. Like I was like trying to hold it together because everyone was like, Jade, are you going to be okay? And like, I knew I had to hold it together because if I said no, they'd be like, just don't go. And so like, I was like, okay, we're just going to deep breathe. But I was like secretly having a panic attack behind my mask. Um, This time has been way more chill. Like I feel like it's so much more calm for me to like travel and I think it's because I like understand the way that I like to travel like it took me it always takes me a little bit of time to get into the swing of things and this time it took me it took me like a day so let me tell you what happened this is what like I first of all I had no activities planned for this for this Bali trip like I was like I'm just gonna go and we're gonna see what flows and it's gonna be fine um and then so I get here and I'm like mmm Day one, I got here, and I don't like to make any plans on the first day because Mm -hmm. um, I'd be stressed. And I would say, like, even just, like, getting here was, like, so fine. Like, I have a driver, um, and he was outside, like, with his little sign that said Jade, and I was like, okay, we're good. Um, And then day one, I got here. I ordered room service. I had, like, pasta and french fries. Um, and wine because I am on vacation and I was like, why not (laughs) carbs? Um, just, I just want all the carbs. Um, and then the next day, so I went to this non-toxic spa, um, that I saw on TikTok and I was like, Ooh, this is so like right up my alley. Cause I need to get like a manicure and a pedicure and went there and I was like, Ooh, also like, I want to try your little organic facial too. And it was perfect. And I was sitting there and I was like, you know what, Jade, this is what this trip is going to be about. It's going to be about you doing whatever, like, bullshit you think of in your head. Like, you don't have to worry about anyone else. Because if I would have been with anyone else, do you think I would have traveled an hour and 30 minutes to go to an organic spa to get a pedicure and a manicure? I would have been like, we could just go to the one at the hotel. Mm -hmm. So I decided, I was like, you know what, Jade, This this is your trip. Do it how you want. Um, I haven't done any like touristy things. I feel like, like I've been, and the driver there, <laughs> and then they're side eyeing me so bad. Cause they're like, you don't want to do this. And I'm like, no, like I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, like we drove, drove by, there's like a, I think you could like make rings, like make like silver and gold rings or something like mm-hmm. that. And they're like, oh, do you want to like go here? And I'm like, no, because I'm tired. That's another thing. Like i literally can do one um activity per day and august my driver um who aileen recommended um was laughing because he's like normally like i drive people all day 
and it's like three to four events per day. Like we do three to four things per That's day. That's what I do. And he was like, yeah, he was like, you just do one and then you want to go back to the hotel. And I'm like, bro, I'm tired. Like <laughs> I did one thing. First of all, I was like, I'm not going to change who I am as a person because I'm on vacation. Okay. Even on the weekends, I do one thing and I'm like, whoo, girl, you did one thing. Good for you. Go ahead and go ahead and sit down. And so first of all, it is hot. Okay. Make no mistake. Like I'm like, I don't know how people are doing three to four things in this weather. After I do one thing, I'm like, I need to go lay down. Um, I need to chill. And this trip is vacation. It's not like travel for me. So I wanted to like relax the entire time. And so me like going all these places all the time, I was like, that's not going to relax me. So let me tell you what I've done so far. <clears throat> um, so went to the non-toxic. I feel like I've been to the spa like four times. Um, I went to the spa. Um, I went ATVing yesterday, which I was like, I want to do one adventurous thing. Mm-hmm. Did you um, love it? I didn't get to on do the trip. that. That was fun. It was fun, but let me tell you something. So as as you know, because we've worked together um, in safety, I am the most reckless person um, and should never <laughs> be working in safety. Um, and so we're ATVing or whatever. First of all, I was supposed to go ATVing and whitewater rafting, which like, who is she? That doesn't even sound like me. I don't know. I don't what know. What are you even doing outside, um, Jade? That's not your element. I don't know. I don't know. So because I was telling August, I was like, Um, I really want to do something like with water or whatever. Originally, my plan was I want to see a waterfall. And I was telling him about it. I was like, I want to see a waterfall and jump into it. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. That's dangerous. And I was like, well, if I don't get to jump in it, then I don't really care to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like, that doesn't sound fun. And so I was just like, okay, well, I kind of want to do, I don't know. I was feeling aquatic. I don't know. And so he was like, do you want to go snorkeling? I was like, not really. Um, he was like, do you want to go parasailing? I was like, mm, that sounds dangerous. I don't really know about that one. Um, and then he was like, what it, what about like whitewater rafting? And I was like, that doesn't sound terrible. Um, it sounds like sometimes you got to do it for the plot. And so the original plan was to go ATV and then go whitewater rafting afterwards. And I woke up that morning and I was just kind of like, I don't really know how this is going to go. I'm not really feeling whitewater rafting, but like, I'm going to see how it goes. That's the perks of it just being me is like, I can just be like, I don't want to do it anymore. And no one's about to be like, are you serious? Except for my driver. Um, and so I go ATV and it was fun, but it's a big group of people. I want to say it was like 10 people. And I want to go fast. Okay, Aileen, I'm trying to like, <laughs> you know, basically do donuts in the forest, right? And so the there's like, I want to say there's like two tour guides. There's one in the front and then there's one in the back. And then there's like tour guides like splattered across the jungle or whatever to like take your picture, right? And so I am kind of in the middle of the group. And originally like we started and we're going kind of like slow. And I'm thinking we're just, we just need to get to the path, Right. And then, like, we, like, get into the forest and, like, there's, like, it's, like, all muddy and, like, it's, like, it's a full, like, it's a, it's happening. And I'm, like, okay, like, the, when are we going to go, like, faster? And the tour guide in the front keeps on stopping because the people in the back, like, are going so slow. Like, I was, like, we could have walked. Like, I, they're going so slow. And so they're holding the whole group up. And I was, like, there needs to be, like, a fast group and a slow group because what ended up happening so i ended up like kind of waiting towards the back Mm -hmm. so then that way like um because alien i'm not joking like this is not me being dramatic it would literally be like the tour guide would go like i don't know i don't know i'm not very good with like measurements i guess a mile or something not even it didn't even feel it felt like a couple of feet And then would have to, like, stop and wait. And then, like, the people in the very back would take, like, three or four minutes to catch up to us every time. And I'm like, bro, like, so we're just starting and stopping all the time. So what I ended up doing, because I was like, listen, I'm creating my own experience at this point. Uh, Because these people in the back, they're not finna ruin what what I have going on. And so I would wait for like the tour guide to get to the very front and i know that the people in the very back are going to take forever but like the people that are following the tour guide they're right behind him at all times right and so i would just like chill and then like there would be like a bunch of space between like the big group and like the people in the back Mm -hmm. right and then when like the people right behind me would catch up then i would gun it so then i could go like super fast to catch up to the other group and it was so much fun, but I was just like, y'all are really, 
Uh, I was like, ooh, you know what, Jade? You're being kind of reckless because I did not get travel insurance. And if I tip over this ATV, Milton and Monica are going to be so pissed. If I, if, like, they're like, Jade, why are you in, like, Indonesian hospital? Like, what are you doing right now? How did you manage to do that? <laughs> so it was fun, but it was hot. And, like, you're like, it's so mm-hmm. humid. And so, like, and it's like the sun is beating on you. And so I get, like, I'm done with ATVing. And my driver is like, okay. Um, are you ready to go whitewater rafting? And I was like, actually, no, I don't want to do it anymore. And he's like, are you sure? And I was like, I'm literally so serious. And he's just like, so we're not. I was like, we're not. He was like, do you want to go somewhere else? And I was like, no, take me back to the hotel. I'm done. Um, and he's like, it's literally like 10 a.m. Like, <laughs> he was just like, so you're done for the day? Because you know you hire them for mm-hmm. the entire day. So, like, by the time that we got back, it was like 11 and he just, I was like, so what do you do for the rest of the day? And he's just like, I mean, I only had you. And I was like, so really, I'm giving you like a free day. So like, you're welcome, basically, me being like a slow traveler like that. And he's like, yeah, I mean, shout out to you. But like, are you sure? And I was like, I'm literally <laughs> so serious. Um, and then I met, so yesterday I went to this beach club, which is why I am slightly on struggle because that really did a number on me. I was, this was the most terrifying thing that I've done because the beach club to me was equivalent. Have you been to Vegas, yeah. Aileen? Okay. Have you been to like their day clubs? One of them. Yes. Okay. So like I've always been afraid of the day clubs but because it it's like you're drinking in the sun, in the pool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like it is so easy for you to just like like die a little bit. You know, like because it's – you're dehydrated like you're drinking and it's like you're expected to stay there for a while and stuff like that and so like this was stressing me out and I knew it was stressing me out because I was like feeling anxiety I was like Jade why did you decide that you're gonna do this but this girl gave me recommendations and her number one recommendation was to go to Finn's Beach Club and I was like okay um I'm gonna do one like rowdy thing I did one adventurous thing I'm gonna do one rowdy thing it's like Bali's number one beach club and I was like first of all did you notice that in Bali everything is like Bali's number one whatever did you notice that or is that just me I did not notice that oh I was like it can't like okay whatever um and so I'm stressed I'm like okay Jade do not die in this beach club okay because I'm not a spring chicken anymore like I was like I can't I was barely making it at the day clubs in Vegas when I was like 22 years old okay I'm not 22 years old anymore and so I was like Jade do not die in this humid heat like you so I get there at 1 30 because you had to be there before two or else like the price changes and I was like I'm what if I don't like it I'm not about to pay like for like this long whatever and so I get there I'm chilling I'm like okay Jade pace yourself it's gonna be fine we're chilling I'm chilling and I'm like okay I think it's gonna be okay my first drink I'm I I I drank my first drink and I sat there and I was like, you go ahead and get some water and we're going to space it out. And it, at that point, I was like, we're going to do it every like you can have a drink once an hour as long as you have like some water in between. I kept that rule. I kept that drink water every hour for one hour after that. Like, I don't know what happened to me. And so I ended up making friends, which was nice. And they're Aileen. So I. I was like, damn, am I, (laughs) am I elderly? Um, And so they're like, oh, do you want to do shots? I was like, absolutely not. That sounds absolutely terrible. No, I can't do shots. I was like, I'm actually just drinking red wine. And they're like, you're drinking red wine at a day club? And I was like, I am because you guys don't know me. But if I take a tequila shot with you guys, I'm about to, like, I'm out. I'm out for the rest of the day. And they're mixing alcohols. It's like, they're like, oh, let's do vodka. Let's do tequila. I'm like, you guys. Um, cheers, but with my wine glass, okay? But ended up getting, like, slightly wine drunk, which is always a good time for me. But I was just like, mm, that was a struggle. Um, but, you know, glad I did it. Um, what else happened? Okay, so I went to the spa that you recommended, which was really nice. I was there for, like, five Mm -hmm. hours. Um, food was good. Like, the facial was fire. I think I'm gonna go back. My favorite thing that I've done so far, I went to a sound bath in Abood. Okay. And, um, okay, picture this, Aileen. Like, I'm going to set the scene for you because it was actually very fire. So this was actually one of the first things that I did. Um, I went to a sound bath, 
and um it's like up in like you know abud is like in the forest and stuff like that yeah, all the trees that's and where stuff. i stayed and, I loved and it. okay and honestly i should have stayed in abud like everything that i've been doing lately has been like oh you had to take me back to abud sorry um and so i get there first of all like the driver can only go so far and then it's like you have to walk up this path and i was like okay um so he's like just go this way. That's all he says. He's like, go that way. And I was like, what the, f okay. So the, in the instructions like that, the people sent me, it's like, they have photos like of like, you're going to see this go right. You're going to see this go left. And I was like, Oh my God, this is like, this is a test to see how smart <laughs> I am. Cause if I get lost, no, because it's like, you're walking through rice yeah. patties, bro. So I'm like, if you get lost and I was fighting for my life, I hate bugs. I really do hate bugs. And like the humidity and like the sound of bugs, it was just like, it was, <gasps> I was like, Jay, just get there before you have a nervous breakdown. Anyways. So I finally get there and you like walk through like these doors and then like you're in, it's all, it's someone's house. Like it's this girl, it's this lady's house and her husband's house and they have like this big patio up in the jungle and everything's all laid out for the sound bath and it was the view was crazy it was spectacular mm. and you see like this lady and she's all comp first of all prettiest woman i've like i was just like oh my god like hey girl Whew. and she like i was just like well you are just the the pinnacle of just wellness and just calm aren't you and she's like hi nice to meet you my name is sandra and i'm like she's like in this flowy dress and i was like i want to be like you i want to be like mm -hmm. you girl because what is going on i was the first person to get there and she's like do you want to like sit down and i was like well yeah sure and so she's like is this your first sound bath and i was like this is like my second one second or third one um and she's like okay well there's going to be a couple of other people. We're waiting for them to get here. And then we started talking. And she's from, I think she's from the Ukraine. And I was asking her, I was like, so like, how long, like, are, like, how long have you been here? She was like, well, I moved here um, in 2020. I came here to Bali on like a solo travel trip um, and ended up meeting my husband. Aileen, I don't feel like you're ready for this story that I'm about to tell you. Because when she was telling me this, I was like, well, that is just they should make a Netflix show about you because what is going on? Um, and so she's like, yeah, so I'm, I came here on a solo travel trip and like, I met my husband at this like concert thing, which like, I think it was like, I don't know, like a drum circle or something. I don't know. Met her husband. And she's like, my husband is like this sound healer that studied in like all of these places or whatever. And then he taught me how to do like, um, like sound bowls and stuff like that. And now we just give sound baths to people and we're just like happily in love. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I was just like, and you have this beautiful house and this beautiful girl. <laughs> I love this for you. I was like, that is, tell me, you can't tell me that that is not the most beautiful thing you've ever heard in your entire life. And they're just so cute together and they just like look at each other lovingly. And I'm just like, and they do the sound bath together. So then the guy walks out and he's all flowy too. And I'm just like, what is going on? All right. So I do the sound bath and. Did you love it? The lady tells me she's, let me tell you, hold on. Because this is, this is, this is only this would happen to me, honestly. Okay. So I'm all ready for the sound bath. So it is me and then three other men, right? And, um, we do the sound bath. So the lady is telling me, um, also her last name is ocean. And then like the name of like their business is like ocean love or something. Like I was just like, so, okay, that's beautiful. Ocean flow or something. Like I was just like, bro, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. Like I'm like, the universe really just said, you're my favorite. I got you anyways. And so um, the way that it goes is like, they like sage you and they like cleanse you. And like, they do like this, like she like whistles and he like hums and like plays a, a drum and like cleanses you before the sound bath. Right. And then she's like, okay, now go lay down. And I'm like, okay, I was the first one to go. So I didn't get to see who was laying down next to me. We're all in like this, like half circle. And then like, they play the sound like at the, the head of the circle. Right. And I lay down. 
her instructions before we did the sound bath was like, if you can't quiet your mind, then just focus on your breath and remember that you're the person that is in control of the channel that you're focusing on. Like you get to choose what you focus on in your brain. And I was like, okay, so I had that in mind. And so I was like, okay, I meditate. I was like, just Jade, if anything, just treat it like a meditation. And she's going to be like an hour and a half long meditation because that's how long the sound bath is. And so I lay down and I'm focusing on my breathing. I'm doing like the little four square breathing where you like breathe in, hold it for four seconds, breathe out for, you know. And so I was focusing on my breathing and the sound bath starts and I'm like, okay, this is nice. Okay. I start seeing like colors like I see purple it all it's almost like a screensaver this is what I was seeing um where it's like it was like a purple dot and then it like gets like smaller but it was kind of like pulsating like it was going in and out and I was like okay bitch like you are in your meditation bag okay beautiful love this for you I was a little bit concerned because again it's hot but we were in the shade But I was like, what if the sun moves? Like, then the sun's going to be, like, directly on me. And I was like, okay, Jade, you can't control that. Let that go. If the sun is on you, like, it was meant to be like that. So just, like, be over it. That was in my head, but I was like, let that go. And um, so we're in the sound bath. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I hear this awful sound. This man is snoring. He fell asleep. And it is literally the most... Aileen, it was like a chainsaw. Like, it was not one of those, like, you know, like, you know, like, he was, it was like, like, he was sucking up all the breath in Indonesia. Like, I was like, are you serious right now? And it wasn't just like, you know how, like, people would just randomly Mm -hmm. snore? It was a consistent snore. And I was like, bro, what the fuck is going on over here? I was like, how am I supposed to, like, meditate when this man is like cutting down a tree right next to me. And like, I have always been sensitive to snoring. Like that has always been my thing. Like even Mm -hmm. light snores, like I can't sleep with them. Like I can't, um, people that breathe, like, honestly, I, the person that I like have to share a bed with needs to like basically (laughs) be dead in order for me to be able to sleep next to them. Cause I'm a very light sleeper. And so like, I've always been like very like sensitive to hearing snoring And so the fact that this man is snoring next to me, I was pissed. I was like, bro, I was like, they're going to wake him up. Like they're good. They have to, like, I'm like the, the host, they have to wake him up. This is so distracting. And it wasn't like, it was, it was like scaring me. So like, imagine me being like calm and then like, you just hear like a, like, just like this loud sound. I'm like, bro. And I was so mad. And I was like, okay, Jade, focus on your breathing. Calm down. But, like, I got so mad. <laughs> like, I was, like, shaking because I was like, this man is ruining my experience right now. And then I was like, okay, Jade, no, no, no. Remember, you're the person that gets to choose your channel. So choose a different channel to focus on. And so I was like, okay, I can hear, like, the trees in the background. I can hear the birds snore. And then, like, I'm like, okay, get back to it. Listen to the drums. Like, listen, snore. And I was just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was so mad. I was so mad. And then, so I'm like, all right, Jade. This is a life lesson. The universe would not have put this man next to you. Like, I was trying to find the silver lining in this so hard, bro. Um, I was like, the universe would not have, like, done this if you weren't supposed to learn Mm -hmm. something from this. So what are we taking from this? So far, I know that I was concerned about the sun, like, being in my face, like, randomly, and then this man is snoring. So I'm like, all of these things you can't control. You don't have any control over these two things. In life, all you have control over is you. You can't control these outside elements. Every now and then, like, something's going to happen, and you need to be able to, like, regulate yourself because I was so mad. And then, so, like, I'm going, like, this is my thought process in my head. And then it was, like, the universe was just, like, let's try her. And a fly, like, buzzed by by my ear, and I lost it. Because you're supposed to be, like, laying in Shavasana and, like, just, like, chilling. I, like, (laughs) crossed my arms and, like, rolled over. Like, I was just, like, I was so mad. And then, like, I was just, like, all right. (laughs) 
Do you see? <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. Um, and I was like, okay, Jade, this again, just all right. Do you see how you like closed yourself off as soon as you got mad? Open yourself back up to the experience. Okay. Like this is your experience. You want to be here. And so I'm like, all right, let's chill. Let's relax. I like lay, like roll back over. And then they said like at the very end, they would like sing to us to like kind of bring us back out of like, you know, the, um, the sound bath. And so I hear them singing. And so I know that like, it's coming to an end. They sing like a couple of songs for some reason by like the grace of God, the guy stopped snoring and I finally like was able to get back into it. And so like towards the end, like the guy was singing and I could like see like, um, like, what is it? Like an arc, like almost like a rainbow, but there was no colors. Like I can see it like pulsating. Um, and I was like, okay, this is nice. And then I hear them kind of like gently say something. And I kind of like, I was like, I don't know when to get up. So I was just like laying there. And then I feel like, like someone's hand. So my eyes are still closed and I feel someone's hand move my hand. Uh, Before that though, hold on. Like I felt someone's hand like on my like forehead and that was very relaxing. Like I was like, I don't know what kind of healer, like I was like, Ooh, that was nice. Um, and then I feel someone's hand, like move my hand. And I was like, what's going on? And I feel like something in my hand. And I was like, what is that? But I take a couple minutes and little did I know everyone had already gotten up from the sound bath and like, I was still just laying there. And so I finally get up and I open my eyes and there's like a rose in my hand. And I was like, oh, that I was like, oh, I didn't know that that is what was in my hand. And I'm like looking around. I'm like, did everyone get a rose? And I'm the only one with a rose. And I'm like, what's going on? First of all, I felt like the bachelorette. Like I was like, hmm, <laughs> winner. Um, and so, but I was so confused. I was like, what is going on? Like, why is, why do I have a rose? And so I sit down next to everyone. And so we're supposed to go around in a circle and talk. And like the lady is sitting next to me and she's like, I gave you that rose because it reminded me of how beautiful you are. Like the rose is beautiful and you're beautiful too. And I was like, Oh my God. Well, that is just the nicest thing. Um, can you tell I have a crush on this girl? Cause I was just like, you were just stop it. Um, and so, um, we're sitting down and they're going around in a circle and we're drinking tea. Like the guy is making us tea. Which, honestly, I was like, bro, it is so hot, and you want me to drink this hot tea? And then he was like, like, I was just like, I was side-eyeing them. I was like, what is going on, bro? It is so hot. Um, And they were like, well, they." he was saying, like, there's, like, this thing where, like, if you drink something hot, then, like, the outside doesn't feel as hot. And I was like, that was not true for me, because as soon as I drank it, I was, like, like sweating. But it was, I mean, I was already sweating. Yeah, I was like... I was like, I mean, I guess, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself over to the experience. And so we're going around in a circle and all the guys go first. And in my head, I was like, Jade, what are you going to say when it comes to your part? Because I, am I about to be like, well, it was great until the guy next to me started breathing up all the air. And I'm like, is that, (laughs) is that what you're going to like? What are you going to say? And I had no idea what I was going to say because I was so, I was so mad. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, that, I was just like, bro, what is wrong with you? And I'm listening. Also, I didn't know who I was sitting next to, right? Because, like, I closed my eyes first and then I was the last one to get up. So I have no idea mm-hmm. who was the culprit. But I was like, one of you mother – whatever. Um, and so they're going around. They're telling their stories. And they're like, oh, you know, like, I tried to, like, focus. But, like, my head went to work. All this stuff. And then it's my turn. And I I spun it. I spun it, but I was like, I still want to let you know I was distracted. And so I was like, you know, I told them about, like, me seeing, like, the colors and stuff like that. Um, And then I was like, but then all of a sudden I started paying attention to, like, distractions. And then I got mad at the way that I was paying attention to the distractions. So I tried to, like, you know, bring my focus to other places. But... I think it was just kind of like a life lesson of like you can focus on the small things that's only going to make you more upset or you can focus on like the things that you actually have control over. And the girl was like, yeah, like, bro, so far, like I've had so many revelations. Um, And so I feel like Kylie Jenner. Do you remember when she was like, this is just like the year that we're realizing things. You remember when she said that stupid shit? Do you remember that? (laughs) 
it was actually so funny. Everyone's just like, that was like not as deep as you thought it was, Kylie, but it's fine. Anyways, we wrap up the the sound bath or whatever. Like I, I'm like, okay, you know, thank you so much. And they give me a hug, which I was not expecting. Like, yeah, I expected mm-hmm. the girl to kind of give me a hug, but like the guy gave me a hug and he was just like, I just want to say like, I truly see how like the sound bath affected you because like you came in here and you're kind of like, you know, a little like tense and like a little bit Mm -hmm. like nervous almost. And now it's just like you have opened up so much and like it, I'm so glad that you like came to this experience. And I was like, bro, he's right. Cause when I first got in here, I was like, what am I doing? Like what's happening? And also like, I have like this, well, I had like this, like, I thought it was almost like a, I thought it was something with my ear, but then I went to the doctor and she was like, it's your jaw. It's cause like you're like, clenching your jaw and I was like okay how do I unclench it she was like just like stop being so stressed and I was like that is the least helpful thing that anyone has okay (laughs) I'll just do that that's fine um and so after sound bath my jaw completely fine like I don't feel it anymore I haven't felt it since um and I was like dang that sound bath really works and I know that like music has like and so here we go ready this is this is where we're in the swinging thing so remember i'm taking my yoga instructor thing right and so i come back home or come back to the hotel and i go do yoga in the gym and for six months i have been trying to get into crow pose which is basically it's almost like a a handstand but like your feet are kind of like crunched together right have not been able to do it for six months i try it Every time I do yoga, have not been able to get into it. Would you believe that this is the one day that I got into crow pose and held it? And I, like, got out of it. And I literally, like, I was in the gym by myself. But I was like, oh, my God, yay. I was so happy. And I was like, bro, what are the odds? In that moment, I get an email. And I'm like, what is that? So I open it. Why am I opening my email during, during yoga? Beyond me. And he... It's basically like I have other experiences, like check these out. And so something in my head, I was like, okay, yeah, Um, click on it. And they like teach like sound bowling, like sound bowl classes where you can like learn to play the sound bowls. And I was like, I mean, I think we have seen how the sound bowls and like the sound bath has like impacted me in such like a beautiful way. Right. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take this sound bowl class. And so tomorrow I have a sound bowl class where I will be learning to play sound bowls. And it's like a three, there's like, you can do different options, but like basically if you do all three of them at the very end of them, you'll know how to like give like a sound bowl massage um, or like a sound massage, which I'm like, that might be a thing. So I'll keep you updated, but tomorrow's my first class. We are, we're learning things, but One other thing that, like, popped up, right? Um, So I was telling the driver on the way back um, how my sound bath was. He was like, what did you think of it? And I was telling him, I was like, bro, I got so mad. Like, I was furious. Like, I was so mad I was shaking. And he was basically telling me, like, you know, you you just have to, like, calm down. And I was like, the thing is, though – and I'm going to be so honest with you because I was telling he knows you. And I was like, the thing is, it's like Aileen tells me that all the time. Like, you know, just it's going to be fine. Just take a deep breath. And I'm like, OK, yes, in theory, fine. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'm just like an angry person. And he started laughing. And I was like, it like it's something in me. Like, I just get so mad and then I lose it. And I just get like it's like I see red. And I was like, what is that? And he was just like, it's in your character. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, you like, <laughs> you have anger in your character. And I was like, okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> damn, that's crazy. That's No one has ever said that to me. And I was like, okay, well, what do I do about it? And he was like, you need to pray for a better heart. And I was like, oh, he was like, you, he was like, how do you, how do you pray? And I was like, I gave him an example. I was like, you know, this is how I, this is how I explain explain it because this is how I pray I'm like hey God it's me your girl you know shout out to you for you know helping me through whatever xyz you know um I would like this this and this so grateful for this like and that's the way I pray and he was like okay see you're doing too much focus on one thing 
That's it. And just ask for a better heart every day and you'll get a better heart. And I was like, all right. Because I was like, how do you stay so calm? And he's just like also a part of like the way that they do things in Bali. Like they very much believe in karma. And so he's like, it would be bad karma for me to do like X, Y, Z. So like everything that I do, I have to keep in mind that like there's karma. And I was like, okay. And he's like, it's very hard. And I was like, I'm glad that you said it's very hard for you to stay calm because people just make it seem like it's just the easiest thing. And I'm like, how? I don't get it. Like, I just, I don't understand it. And he's like, it's very hard, but like, you know, every day I work at it. And I was like, all right, that's fine. I will pray for a better heart. So now I'm praying for a better heart. Mm, We'll see. And I was like, you know, I'm very glad that I had this conversation with you um, about this. It was like a very deep, like, it wasn't just that. It was like a very deep conversation about just like life and like spirituality and everything. It was a whole thing. And I was like, it's, I find it so interesting that like I meet, like I met you and he was like, it is in your path. Like it is your karma for you to meet me. And I was like, bro, okay. And he's just like, you, it's that like we were supposed to meet each other and like have this conversation because think about it. Like we could have just walked by each other and that could have been fine. But like the fact that we're sitting here having this entire conversation, it's like on your path. It's in your karma for us to meet. And I was like, oh, and that got me thinking because I've always said this. I'm always surprised at how amazing like my friends are. Like I feel like everyone around me is like so just like great like as a person like it's just a bunch of like good-hearted people that I'm surrounded with and I'm just like huh I don't know how that happened because like to me in my head I think I'm okay you know what I'm saying I'm like I have good days I have bad days but everyone around me like my best friends my mom my dad you like everyone is just like I'm just like you guys are so like pure and amazing and I'm like what did I do to deserve this and then I'm like I must have really good karma even though I think I'm a little bit of a shithead I must have really good karma or it must have been from a past life that is like okay you know what put all these great people in Jade's life to have like to just be great but then I was like the way that I won't even give myself credit for being like a good person is crazy I'm like Jade Maybe you just have, maybe you are a good person. Maybe you have good karma and you're a good person. Revelations. So yeah, that happened. Um, Very deep moments. Also, this is completely off, off topic, but we were talking about like meditating and stuff like that. And he's like, how often do you meditate? And I was like, I meditate for sure Monday through Friday. And he was like, do it every day. 10 to uh, 10 minutes, whatever. Try for 15 minutes. But he was like, don't do it when you're on your period. And I was like, what? Have you heard that before? No, Have you heard that before? I just know about going into the temples. Yeah, same. Like, I was just like, when he said that, I was like, that's new. Why? And he was basically like, all the blood is like going somewhere else. Basically, like, you, you know, focus on that. Don't focus on like meditating. He was like, don't meditate when you're on your period or for three days after. And I was like, oh. He was like, yeah, we don't do that here. And I was just like, oh, okay, so that's new. Anyways, you know what I might, like, I'm like, I'm giving myself permission to kind of, like, lean into whatever I want to, which is what I decided early on in the trip. Like, I was like, do whatever you want to do. But I think if I like it, then I give myself per- permission to, like, keep going because you get to, like, it's not like you buy all the the trainings together. You can do it one by one. So I'm going to do the first one. Tomorrow, if I like it, then I'm going to go for the second one and then the third one. But yes, I would definitely okay. practice oh. sound bath on you and see if it works. But It'll be fun. I'm excited for that. Um, also, I have a vegan food tour. Um, not a vegan food tour, a vegan cooking class, which is right up my alley. That's on Thursday. And then I think I'm just going to chill for the rest of the trip. I'm like, I'm tired. That happened. It was so like, I don't know what goes on when I'm traveling, but like. The universe really just be like, give her the most dramatic, like, vacation romance of her life and then just, you know, call it a day. Like, I'm like, I don't know what that is. Let me just, just one of them. I'm just going to give you a summary of one of them because I'm like, what in the world? It's because I watched the <laughs> Lizzie McGuire movie before I left. That's what it is. Um, So here we go. Ready? So I'm sitting at the pool and this was like two days ago, I think. I'm sitting at the pool. I'm minding my own business, scrolling through TikTok. Um and 
um, the lady walks up and she's like, oh, do you want to order drinks? And I was like, uh, like I had just had a margarita and I was like, ah, she was like, it's happy hour. I said, wait, do you tell me more? And, um, she's like, it's, you buy one, you get one for free. And I was like, I mean, Jade, you're on vacation. Why not? Get you another margarita, girl. Get you two more margaritas, girl. This guy. So I'm laying down on the little day bed or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, or what is it? Like the little lounge thing. And then there's an empty lounge chair. And this guy had like sat down on the lounge chair, um, over to me, over to my right. Didn't say anything to him again. Got my little headphones in scrolling through TikTok. Um, I only have one AirPod in though because I lost my right AirPod. So that's I only have my left one in. And so I I order my drink and then the guy next to me, he orders a drink or whatever, and both of our drinks come back at the same time. And she puts my drinks down, puts his drinks down, and he like, you know, he's like, cheers. And I was like, cheers, why not? Right? He we get to talking all of a sudden we get to talking and we probably sat there for like an hour and a half just chit chatting. Right. Um, And I'm like, this 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 is interesting. And he's like, you know, I was supposed to go to like this day party or whatever. And I was like, oh, if you have to go, like, you know, don't let me keep you. He's like, oh, no, no, no. I was saying that like because like I'd rather sit here and talk to you. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I wasn't, I didn't have any plans for the rest of the day. Mind you, this is, I had just gotten back from ATV. And so, like, I was done for the rest of the day. Like, I was just going to go take a nap in my room, go to sleep. And so he's like, yeah, like, if you don't mind, like, we can continue talking. And I was like, yeah, like, that's totally fine. He was like, do you want to stay here or did you want to go somewhere else? And I was like, oh, have you been to the beach? Like, the beach is literally across the street. You just, like, have to find the entrance, which is, like, through this, like, mall. And he's like, no, I haven't. Also, the sun is setting at this time because you know, (laughs) you know, I'm good for a sunset. And so he's like, yeah, like, let's let's go. I want to see the beach. He's only here for two days. He's like, I just popped over here. I just got back from like a conference. I just thought I would take a little vacation before I went home. He's he lives in Singapore. He's from Germany. Um, So he's German and Lebanese and very nice man. Um, and when I say man, like a a man, um, and so we, I was like, okay, give me five minutes. I'm going to go back up to my room and like, just like change really fast. And then I'll meet you down in the lobby. He's like, all right, cool. Meet him down in the lobby. We walk over to the beach and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? This man, he has, he has a little crush on me. I could tell. Like, I was just, uh, how could you not? You know what I'm saying? I'm charming as shit. And so I was just like talking to him and the sun is setting. He's like, this is so nice. Thank you so much for like bringing me over here. And I was like, of course. And then he holds my hand and I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I was like, this is, this, okay, this is nice. So we're walking on the beach as the sun is setting. We're holding hands. And I'm then, ready. are you ready? You're not ready for it. You're not ready for it. You're not ready for this. Out of nowhere, no there's a fireworks show. They're doing a fireworks show, bro. They're doing a fireworks show. And I was like, are you joking right now? And I was like, we got to watch the fireworks show. On the beach, as the sun is setting, they're doing a fireworks show. And he's like, we have to. And I was like, we, we, who would we be not to watch this fireworks show? We're standing there. We're watching the fireworks show. He kisses me. And I was like, ah! Okay, so n- this is romantic as hell. Because why are there fireworks going off as we're kissing on the beach as the sun is setting? This doesn't make any sense. And I was like, well, this is a turn of events. This is not what I thought was going to happen after ATV. So romantic. I was like, what are the odds? Anyways, that was just, that was that was one guy. Um, we don't have time for all the, I feel like we need like the, a Bali you know, part two. Um, so I will, <laughs> um, we probably will. But I was like, Jay, this is not the point of this trip. Like, we do not need to be focusing on men right now. This feels like an internal trip right now, and we need to focus on ourselves. But, yeah, I was like, that was unexpected, but beautiful. And I was just like, I love the little, you know, the little turn of events. So just a little sprinkle of romance, yeah. I think, is always nice on a little trip. So I will wrap this episode up on that. Do we have any fine? I don't know if we. I don't know if there would be final words of wisdom from Aileen. Do you have any Keep advice for me for the rest of my trip? How about do that? Do whatever you want and okay. live it up there because it's it's just so peaceful and fun. It is. It's very beautiful. The people. You're right. The people here are so nice, and I'm always like so confused. Like I'm like, 
Why are you being so nice to me? Are you trying to <laughs> kidnap me? What's going on? And they're just nice people. And I'm just like, okay, this is weird. It's so like jarring because I'm just like, <laughs> people are really nice here. But yes, I will live it up. I also want to say today is the end of retrograde and um, we so... made it. Yeah, because that was a lot. So yeah, but we're out of we're out of that one and um i am very excited for the rest of the trip i think i have like seven more days here so we're gonna see how that goes but i think we'll do a bali part two like episode just to hear how things end because i'm excited to see how the, the story continues but with that being said thank you all for listening uh we hope that you have a good day and we hope that you are well bye